Alrighty then. Today's the 18th, and we've got our 18th advent box. So, in order to not waste time, let's just open it. <laughs> I can't wait to see what this one is. What is this? Okay. This is uh something I haven't really seen before. It's a TOZ 106. Oh, alright. So, 20 gauge, so I'm guessing this is a bolt action shotgun. Really? Huh. That's, uh, that's interesting. Alright, so let me look at the gun here. Okay, the magazine goes in there. You get your bolt here. Nice. Uh, do I have a safety? Huh. Hmm. Okay, well. And we got a little folding stock here. Pull that out. Down the sights. Ooh. All right. Let me just uh, scratch my nose there. Check out the magazines. Twenty gauge. Okay. Spawn lock that baby, and let's try out the TOZ 106. Huh. There's got to be uh, something I'm missing here. Nope, nope. That ejects the magazine. Touch pad down. Ah, okay. Well, that was kind of weird. I seem to have uh, disengaged the safety somehow. I don't really know how. Oh, no, it's uh, touchpad left. Okay. Yeah, you just there's no click. I can't hear it. So, see how it's moving? Yeah. So, okay, there is a safety. Oh, <laughs> dropped it. All right, so let's uh, go to the item spawner and see what kind of accessories I can put on this uh, TOZ-106. Let's get there first. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Oh. There we go. Go back to arm swinger. So, uh, where is this located? Uh, it's a shotgun. But is it a uh, bolt-action rifle? <laughs> it's, it's really funny. Someone was asking for a, um, a bolt-action shotgun earlier in the A3, A3VR subreddit. Ah, so it's in magazine-fed. Okay, okay, sure. All right, just checking. So that's where it is. It's located there next to the AA-12 and all those other bolter kind of, uh, you know, Magazine bad shotguns. Uh, actually, let me just check one thing. No, I didn't think it was going to be in here, but hey, you know, it was uh, worth a look. So, let's uh, add a suppressor. Let me just put that down. Click. Okay. Um, what would go great with this? Let me just extend the barrel a bit. Okay. You can put barrel extensions on there. Make it extra long. <laughs> and, um, let's see, what can I put on this? Hmm. The Nagant suppressor? <laughs> the tiny little suppressor. Oh, uh, wow, okay. Yeah, I might change that. Yeah, let's just uh, move that. It's, it's pretty funny though, you know, putting a tiny little suppressor on it. And uh, let's get rid of one of these. And let's go with something a bit more serious. Um, let's see, what can I put on this gun? How about the PBS-4? Will my sights be affected by that? I think they will. So I'm going to try and see if there's any um, any way to put a sight on this thing. I don't think so. No, there's no way. I don't think so. Yep. Oh well. You know what? That's okay. 
And so I'm not going to be able to see the sights. So I'm going to take the suppressor off. But I'm going to keep the barrel extension. Because, you know. <laughs> well, I can take it off. Um, no, I'll keep it on. So, uh, before I do anything else, let me check what kind of 20 gauge ammunition we have in the uh, spawner here. Okay. We got the standard buckshot. We got some dragon's breath. Okay. Okay, buckshot. That's dragon's breath. And then let's do some freedom fetty. Kind of weird considering this this is a Russian gun, but you know. And uh, some slug rounds, which are green. Yep. Okay. So we got a lot of different rounds to play around with. Standard bookshot. Okay. Then we got slug rounds. And then we've got Dragon's Breath, right? Set those saucers on fire. Although I'm going to be fighting wiener bots. So that's not going to really work, but. You know, it's nice to know. And uh, Freedom Fetty. Merca. Merca rounds. <laughs> Pretty useless, but, uh, you know, you want to celebrate. Fourth of July. There you go. All right. So, you know what? I think I will take off the barrel extension and maybe hold the uh, stock. <laughs> wow, that is a very compact little bolt-action shotgun there. Well, it's sluggish. Let's do about 21 bots and let's rock and roll. Gonna have to go real close to these guys. Hopefully, they don't see me. Oh, they spotted me. Oh, no, I missed. one behind me. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Sneaking up behind you. Try some slug rounds now. Oh, and hit. Whoops. Oh no! I am surrounded. Ah. Huh. That's kind of weird. Ah oh, no. Dragon's breath? <laughs> That's pretty useless against them. I'm just gonna go back. I know the Freedom Fetty's not gonna work, so. Ooh, get the stock out. Maybe yeah, I can get a stabler, uh. Oh, sorry, more stable shot. Snap, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I need to run. <laughs> Let's go with the Freedom Fetty for this last one. I gotta get up real close to get this guy. <laughs> oh, no. Gotcha. Whew. <laughs> How embarrassing. 
to be uh, shot with freedom, Fetty. <laughs> Celebrate. Yeah, you know, um, not really too fond of the idea of a bolt action shotgun, but um, you know, it's interesting. It's a unique, uh, unique perspective on a shotgun when you make it bolt action. It's a lot harder to fight <laughs> when uh, you have to uh, use the bolts to chamber another, another shell. Huh, that is a very, very strange weapon. Look at that. Just crazy. Use those slugs. Oh, man. Well, you know what? That's all I got to say about this because, man, I need to do my research. <laughs> the TOZ-106. Or at least I think that's what the... Uh... Yeah. 20 gauge from the Russian Federation, manufactured in 1993. Wow. It's a little bit recent. Only maybe uh, two decades ago. Estimated. But yeah, there you go. So, now I got to find my computer and stop before this video gets a little too long. And stop.